Hello all and welcome to this game I am very excited to show to everyone. I saw someone play it in my school. We were really good friends. Still are maybe, I don't know. But we played it a bit, so I know just a tad bit, but that was over a year ago. So, and I've never really seen any of the story. I just know how the basic gameplay works, so I have a tad advantage in that. But other than that, I have no clue about anything in this game. And so I'm really excited to start. Because I'll get to experience the full story. Welcome to Dicey Dungeons. The only game show where you could win your heart's greatest desires. But will you fulfill your, or, uh, fulfill your dreams or your nightmares? Let's find out with our host for this evening. And for eternity, what is Lady Luck? Thank you. Thank you all my dears and darlings. I'm not going to do that. And welcome back to my labyrinth of endless terror. That's the voice of all the NPCs. I'm just gonna do that. Will our newest contestants win big or lose it all? Oh, no. Let's find out as we meet the warrior. Yeah, that's me. Whoa, I'm a dice. Yes, near yeah, that's how that works. Tell me, warrior, what secret emptiness has driven you to risk eternal imprisonment at the hands of fate? What? My dear, what are you playing for today? Oh, I'm playing to win a monster truck. And to become the strongest man in the world. Inspirational. Well, you know what we say here in Dicey Dungeons. Luck might be against you, but it's too late to change your mind now. Hey, <clears throat> when did you say that? Alright, sword. I think that's just my basic attack. Oh, okay, this is the tutorial. Pretty sure it'll just... Ah, new contestant. We'll just go through the entire thing. Time to fire up the blaster again. Alright, so basically you roll every turn. And you can get anywhere from a 1 through 6. Certain things use certain amount. So maybe something, yeah, like this. You have to get 20. Which means all the dots, or the pips, or whatever you call them, have to equal 20. And you put them in. Before. And see, I rolled a 1. That's not good. And so this is my special ability. I re-roll a dice. And each thing is only allowed to be used once unless it specifically says at the bottom. So I can re-roll. A four, try again. Okay, three, one more try. There, it's a six. So now I can use that for the maximum damage. And since I, I've already used all my things, it's not good. But this will also show you that it's good to take damage sometimes because now I can use my fury. And what it does is it doubles the next action I take. So since I'm doing six damage, I'll do six, and then I'll do six again. And then you get coins and XP, and coins you can spend in the shop for new moves and XP. You basically get all your health back, and you get one more die, I believe. Battle axe, maximum four. So that means if I get a five or six, it's I can't do anything with it. So I would I want fours in here. It's another enemy, hothead. Fight. Alright, some dudes do have special moves. But needs four or less. So basically what I'm gonna want to do is I want to do this. Again. And again. Perfect. So I can do six. And I can do eight damage. But this I mean each enemy has different moves, basically, and some are actually weak to certain things. And I believe it'll tell you. But this one can do burn, which basically I think. Okay, so one of my dice is on fire. And that's not good. I will do it though, because it'll give me Fury, which goes through battles. Which is really good. If I can get something decent. Two, can I kill him with that? Three, four, no. Ah! I'll do that just because. A lot of damage. He's going to burn me once more, I believe. Which isn't going to be too big of a deal, because I will not... You don't have to use this dice. I can just do this and then win right now. And I did. And now I leveled up, and my maximum health increased, and I got more health, and I got an extra die. Yep. Yep, I, I see. Can I continue? Please. Oh, it just was saying that. Matchstick. Burns one die. Alright, dice value. Bump. Bump's a pretty good one. So, you can only have six squares attached, and certain ones will take two. I don't think any of them take three, and some take one. So, you can have a bunch of stuff in here if you want. 
but that's just as a basic you're gonna have to take care of that so his stuff apparently it changes every turn oh it's time for me to die huh so what this will do is it gives a dice value plus one and you might be asking what does that do if i use it on a six well you'll see that's right it gives me one more which means what I will do is I'll do this to do six damage. I will re-roll. I'll do four to do that much damage. And I'll burn him once and I'll burn him twice. And it does stack. Which means what will happen is two of his dice will be on fire. So he's going to freeze one of my dice. Which isn't too big of a deal for me. Because I can always just do this and then this. That works pretty well because I'll just do that. Do that this once more and I will burn one of his dice and then uh, I have the end turn and there we go and then my frozen is gone so this guy inflicts one shock I think that's his poison no it disables my equipment and what will happen is this will happen I can't do anything with these so what I want to do is I want to bump get a six just realize it doesn't matter I can't do anything with it. Probably should have just attacked, but oh well. What can you do? Alright. So I have a five. I'll plus one, I'll use my fury. And I'll use sword, which will kill him. And your bard uh, gets to full or charges by taking damage. Not just by overturns or dice used or pips or any of those or are they even called pips? I saw that in like a comic. Called pips. I'm not sure if that's true. And here it goes. This is the actual game. You don't have to take the health. More bumps is really good to have. I don't care about Oh yeah, the dragon. I don't care about really burning. I just want more bumps, because that's very helpful. I don't even know if I can take it. No, you can't. And you can't really skip ahead, so you have to go through all the enemies. Alright, baby squid, 26. I can look at his turn, so he can blind and die, and he can do something damage twice, and it has to be an even. Which is pretty good. I'll bump once. And when you really think about it, there's no point to doing anything else. Because, you know, there's no point. I don't have any more attacking moves, so I can do... 24 damage per turn, I think. So he'll blind one of my dice. And I can't tell what this is. That was a 4, I believe. Which means if I bump, I'll bump it once more just to make sure this dude's dead. Reroll, reroll, reroll just to make sure if I can overkill, which I can't. But he is dead now. Alright, level up, which means I get another die. Oh, I get a move. Do two times the enemy, but. The actual damage and the square means the amount of pips on your dice so if i put six i'd be doing two times six so i'd be doing 12 and but i would be doing six to myself and then this means i do any amount of damage or if i have an odd so if i put a five in here i'll get five shield which basically just negates five damage but since that's a two which means i have to get rid of two items in my inventory i'll take boomerang because boomerang's not bad to have i'll get rid of a bump for it i forgot how to drag because it's just more damage because currently i don't have enough damage so he's weak to shock so it'll tell me that so if i have anything that does shock it'll do double damage i don't think that's what this is no it's not all right i will do six damage i will bump and i will use this because it'll do 12 but i will do six to myself which kind of sucks but it's still that's just how the game is so this guy, he'll do 3 damage and he'll weaken me. So this will weaken one of my equipments. Which means, well, that's what it does. That's what that item does. Doesn't matter though, because he's dead. But still. But you can also, you know, I'll explain that later. I was going to say something, but I'll just wait. Now I'll grab the apple for health, and I'll go to the shop. Which, you can see your coins down here, 5. Oh, a new adventurer, come on in. Welcome to Dungeon Supplies for you. Very convenient name, I know. I've got some great stuff in stock. Need socks, weapons, a small house plant? No. 
Alright, so these are what I can buy, and it says how much it costs down here. So, I can buy dagger, do that much damage, reusable, iron shield, add that much shield, do that damage, and adds one poison. I mean, claws is better than dagger, basically. And I will take it, and I think I'll... Well, that has a max of three, but I do have a reroll. So, it's not bad, because chances are I'll get it. So, where do I start? I start here. And I want to start going towards the anvil. And I'll show you what that does after this battle. I will re-roll this die. I'll re-roll it again. Re-roll it again. Perfect-ish. Do six. Do four. And I'll do two damage and add one poison, which is... Poisons him. You all know what poison does. Alright. Combine dice, so that'll give him a six and a one. D6, and inflict one shot, and do two damage. The face, I guess, the basic move. You'll see that move quite a bit. It doesn't do a whole lot, not to worry. I will release my shock, bump once, do four damage, and then I'll do one damage and add poison, so basically two damage. I want to keep my fury for the next match, because I should be able to... Uh, should be able to kill him. But the pea shooter... Because it says it has a max of 5. Oh, no. Even if you add a 6 to it, it doesn't carry over the 1. It just restarts it at 5. So that's something to remember. Alright, hey, come in, come in. I didn't think we met. I'm Ned, I'm in charge. So this dude can upgrade your stuff. So it says... Okay, so normally it just does the dice amount of damage. Now it does that plus 1. This one... Okay, I, this is already max. Sometimes items are like this. Claw, as a max of 5 now, and bump, I can use it twice. But I will up... Um, yeah, I'll upgrade, I believe. Oh, wait, let me just look real quick. No, this one genuinely doesn't do anything, because sometimes it'll do something like this, where it unlocks it even, but I'll upgrade my boomerang. And I will use it instead of Claw. Because now it'll only do three no matter what. So it's a lot better. A little bit risque going for this. I'll re-roll. Re-roll once more. Re-roll once more. Six, that's exactly what I wanted. I'll bump this guy. Do this. Do this. And I won't Fury, because I don't see a point to it. I don't think it's worth it. Hopefully this dude can't do 16. It's his turn. Alright, brain health. Do 6 damage. Okay, that's not good. <coughs> you can see, this is not good. I'll do this. And that still did 3 to me. But I did level up and I gained all my health back. Which is why I was comfortable doing that, not because I just wanted to. My night charm, roll two sixes, healing crystal, recover some health. Now, I'm not going to buy any of this. And I do want Sneezy. And I don't have to fight here, as you can tell. But I still will. And I'll do this, I'll do this, and I will do Boomerang. And he's dead. <laughs> Went on your first turn. I just got that achievement. You can't see it, but... So there, now take the apple, basically max health, chocolate cookie, repeat the next action. That's not bad, when I really think about it. I'll replace bump with that, because bump is really good. But, mm-mm. I'll take the bully first, because he's a lower level, so he's probably weaker. Okay, re-roll, re-roll, re-roll. Nope, nothing good here. I'll do this, 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 and I'll put one in the chocolate cookie, which I don't think carries on through the matches, but it carries on through turns. Oh, this dude just... <laughs> okay. Alright, my guy. Time for you to die. I'm gonna keep the Fury, because I don't know when I'm gonna really want to use it. Go to the shop, see if there's anything for me. You can trade something here if you absolutely insist. 
I don't... Well... It's basically just my sword, but better. I'll get... I'll do it. I'll get rid of Claw. Because this is does dice damage, this does dice damage, and on a 6, it does shot. So it's better. Take Aura first, because I can get that chest, which might be good. I think Aura is actually one of the better enemies in the game. Oh, well, no, maybe not. I don't know. Reroll, reroll, reroll. 6, perfect, because I'll shock her, so that means it disables something. Do 4. And I will just put all my pips into a chocolate cookie. Do three damage. And that's a once per battle thing. So basically, it, she can't do it anymore. Reroll, reroll, reroll. Okay. Do damage, do damage. And I will just do it again because I don't want to take a lot of damage. And she can't do a whole lot. She can freeze one more die and do three damage. But that's all she can do now. Oh, wait, I forgot. That's what it does. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. All right. I'll re-roll. And I'll re-roll. And I'll re-roll. Okay. Next equipment will be used twice. I shouldn't... Guess I'll just do that. Do battle axe. One, two, three... Do this. I don't think it's worth it. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna kill her next turn anyways. I forgot it refreshes her stuff. Oh god. Oh gosh, she has hurricane now. I definitely have to kill her. Oh boy, I'm still nowhere close to the next level, but I will level up if I kill the loud bird. Deal six damage, burn one dice. That's not bad. And I might lose here. I might. I'll just see what this guy has. Squawk needs double silence enemy, does next attack. So this is the only thing he can do to attack me. Which is very weird. I'll do that immediately, do that. And I don't want to use my boomerang as much as possible. Because I want to save my health until I'm guaranteed to win. So this guy can't do this. He can dodge his next attack. So I want to do something small. So I want to do... We can do whatever damage. Okay. He's going to dodge that. So that's no big deal. Um... <coughs> I think I'll just put that there. And I'll end my turn. That goes through the rounds, too. And he can silence me, which I don't remember what that does. Oh, I can't use my skill. And I'm low again. Fury back. He's gonna silence me again. He's gonna do five damage. And he's gonna dodge my attack. Nope. Unless he puts his fives there, which he doesn't. And there we go. I've lost my very first game. But I've unlocked the thief. Yay. I want to try the thief. Now there's a few good people. Are there more characters? Oh, no. Alright. Title. Oh, that's what it means by title. I thought I would give it something. Alright, time to continue on. Put your hands together for the next hapless or hopeful challenger. He's got big hopes, big dreams, and a big—I mean—and he signed a legally binding agreement not to sue us. 
It's nothing. Wait, you mean that dice thing literally? What? I mean, I mean everything literally. So tell me, thief, what brings you to my arena of terrible fate? Okay, a dice. Good. All right, well, my friends don't seem to be taking this seriously, but I am. And I'm gonna win a billion dollars. Oh, and what will you do with the money if you win? Um, anything I want for the rest of my life? Well, fortune favors the bold. At least, that's what people who haven't met me sometimes believe. Well, let's get started. You know, I'm just gonna say I don't like you. Gardener time. So, the thief has something special entirely. Unlucky roll. Roll four extra ones. So, that's what that does. Dagger, max three. Well, I can't use it, so I can do this. I mean, it doesn't do anything. I don't know if it splits it always like this. But I did this time. Get one damage and I'll end. So each hero has their unique class. Okay, that's pain. Do two damage. Oh, that's not good. So it's a dice and two. Do two damage. Two more damage. There's one class I really like because you get to do something cool. But that's just later. Roll four extra ones. Don't need that. I'm just going to kill him right now. Oh, I was hoping I could get another attack, but I assume it just ends it. It's not very good, but, uh, Peace Shooter, due to damage. Not good, but I'll Oh, it's automatically equipped. Okay. It's not good, but I'll still take it. Hothead. Hothead is weak to ice. Well, I'm good thing I don't have any of that. Okay. I will use this immediately. I'll do that to him. You can do lockpick for two extra ones. I'll do two damage. One, two, three, four, five. Ha ha ha. And enter. I almost killed him in one turn. And he. I don't think the computer can burn or kill itself with burn. But I will just kill him now. Which should level me up and give me max health and more health and a new die. Which is exactly what you want. More dice. The higher challenge. This is a very. Weird level. I'll go for sneezing because it's just a better thing in Apple and that. Because I'm not skipping up on two bosses or enemies. Mm. Why do I have spike? What? When did. Oh, that's what it is. I forgot the thief. It steals one of the enemy's moves. That's what it does, okay. I was wondering. I mean, one extra damage from one extra thing. Just realized I could use that all there. But I didn't. So I'm dumb. Oh well. And he got two sixes. Oh, and he... Oh my god. <sighs> that just happened. Lockpick. Hopefully it goes into good ones. No, it does not. I'll do that there. Oh, I can't do that. I don't want to use my unlucky roll just yet. <clears throat> I'll just do six here. I'll do... Yes. One, two, three, three. This is not a good enemy to fight. I can't even kill him right now. No, I cannot. And that's okay. That's not how the game works. It's actually a pretty hard game to win. Well, not pretty hard, but it's not easy, that's for certain. Split a die in two. Absolutely no reason for that. Well, maybe. I'm gonna do it now, because I might die without it. I don't want to die just yet. I want something good. Roll two ones. Actually, that's good for me. I'll go to the pirate because I need health immediately. Oh, and also, if you kill all the enemies on the floor, you'll gain a level guaranteed. Two ones. Do this damage on four. You can reuse this. I mean, okay. That's fine, I guess. 
couple of dice in two. Extra damage. One, two, three, one. Oh, there we go. Ten damage. That's okay. He'll do seven damage to me. <laughs> I'm back down to this amount of health. Seems like a very common occurrence. Okay, I took this attack this time. I burned him, so if he does use both of them, which he's not going to be able to kill me. As long as I can kill him this turn, I'm good. And I've done it! Oh, I leveled up. I didn't. Well, that was gonna happen. Inflict one poison, reduce the cool. the countdowns on all equipment. I'm not gonna. I could. I could have done that. But no. I'll take a payoff. Strong against poison. Good thing I have poison. As for poison. I mean, okay. Roll two ones. You still take poison though, right? I get screwed. Stupid. Does the dice hopefully in a good way? Does not. I no use. I'll <laughs> just do this. Pretty sure, yeah, it just goes down by one, which means she'll lose to, I, I don't know. More poison, the better, that's all I know. Split, hopefully it splits good. It didn't. Um, there we go. I'll just do this. Seven poison, she'll definitely die, inevitably. Do that damage on sexual story. She just decided to poison me. What a pain. Oh, that's what it means by strong. Okay. She takes less. I guess I'm just gonna be adding some poison to her. She's gonna die in, when it goes back to her turn anyways. But, that's fine. Well, she'll heal. Good thing she didn't poison me more, because that would've sucked. Uh, add poison. Oh, it didn't. She should be dead. Okay, it didn't. Oh god. <laughs> I'm back down to this stage, baby. Okay, I'll restore some health. Woo. I restored two health, but hey, that's still better than nothing. Poison doesn't carry over as far as I'm concerned. Get six health. Hopefully there's an apple in here. Nope. I really don't want that. Duplicated dice. Um, what's in my bag? Nope. Hmm. I'll take pickpocket. There's no reason for it. But oh my god, this. Good thing it's level two. That's acceptable. I don't think he's good anyways deal with that damage. I'm just gonna go after him. Like, I'm just going straight at him. Poison. 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 Oh, it has to be even. I'm stupid. Would've been nice if I remember that. That would've been cool. I know, it's ironic. He has snowball. All I can do is freeze one of my dice and do a little bit of damage. That's okay. Split a dice in two. That's exactly what I want there. Why did I do that? Um, more poison. Um, I don't think I can do that. Oh, wait. I could. I could. I did. I thought it was even. I don't know why. Frozen, ah, oh, that'll allow him to do both. Guess where I'm going. Back to this music. Yay! Split dice in two! Deal damage. 
Poison, poison. I have to do it because I might die if not. I might still die, but no, I didn't. Oh, that was something. That's, that's why I went for him first. Hey, come in. I love your outfit. You look really intentional. Have you met Rose yet? So dapper, I reckon you really get on. I don't know who Rose is. Do four damage. That's huge. Let's try this and that. Inflict one poison. Five uses. It's good for what I want. Roll two ones. Ooh. With that. I will do that, actually. Fireman, come here. Please don't kill me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Ah. Immediately use my ability. Okay. Immediately do that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, can't do that again. Let's pull the dice in two. Okay, seven damage, three poison, and burnt. Oh, God. He does so much. Oh my god. I literally lost. Unless... No, I've definitely lost. Yeah, I'm still bad at this game. I unlocked the robot! Wow! Do we can unlock episodes, play a game with five contestants? Wow. Well, anyways, I think I suck too much to continue playing this game. Let me know if you like the game or don't. Still do not care if you say yes or no. I'm going to keep playing it anyways. Unless a lot of people hate it. Continuing on, well, have a great night or day or whatever you're having, or don't, that's not my job. Have a great night, bye.